Hello Capricorn, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your June 2018 Mini Tarot Reading. I'd like to thank you for stopping by today and remind you that I do have the Instant Go Yay up and running. The link you'll find down below if you're, if you're interested in looking at it. So let's take a shuffle here and see what's coming up for you Capricorn in the month of June. Please remember this is a general reading and if you'd like one just about you, please stop by my website at www.soulstarbliss.com. Get yourself an appointment and we'll get to it just as quickly as we can. Let's take a look here. Oh, you also might want to check your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. Oh, it looks like there's some travel in the works for you. Either that or you're planning on moving. It says you're going to have some choices about what you do. Maybe you're planning on leaving your job or wishing you could leave your job. But it just says it seems like there's going to be something to do with travel or moving for you. And it's a good thing. It, you're excited about it. It seems like it's something that you've been wanting. It says, don't forget to remember uh, Ace of Cups. When your mind is filled with spirit, it fills your body to overflowing. What you think about, you become. It looks like some of you may be learning something new, um, whether that be at work. Maybe you're going to go take a class. Maybe you're going to go back to school. But it looks like you're going to increase your knowledge in an area that will help bring more um, income to your home. It says, don't pay attention so much to what everybody else says. Uh, so it seems like spirit is almost leading you on something, and uh, maybe people are trying to talk you out of it or into it or doing something. It says, kind of trust yourself best you can. because It says that you're definitely being led here in a way um, to make some choices and to make some movement. That feeling of not knowing what to do and just kind of stuck there, like, you know, like you're bound with a rope, that's going to, something about that's going to change. We have the Nine of Cups here, which means you get a wish coming, but it also means things are, are really getting ready to fall into place if they haven't already for you. It says, remember what you've learned from the past so you don't have to repeat a lot of the same lessons over and over again. I feel this month there's going to be a big celebration over something or something to celebrate, something Thing you've been waiting to celebrate this month um, and well deserved. It says victory is going to be yours. It says you have everything you need. Okay, and this seems to be about work. You have everything you need to either apply for, look for work, improve things at work. It just says it's going to be something better about work for you. Now, I'm not for some of you that's where you already work, but those of you that are wanting to move, change jobs, something like that. It could also be uh, something like that for you. It says you have a lot of wants, wishes, and daydreams. Make this about you. Make this month about you best you can. It says, again, you've been learning a lot of lessons, or the lessons you've already learned are not going to be repeated. That's pretty awesome in itself. It says you've been working hard on things, and the work is going to pay off. There's change coming. The excuses are gone now. There's no more excuses. Wheel of Fortune says things are going to get better. Maybe they've already started. It says it's almost like the apprenticeship is over. Something you've been working on is bringing you the chariot, one who achieves greatness. In the relationship department, it says if you've been working on that, there's going to be improvement for some of you. Um, it, not everybody needs work on their relationship, but those of you that have been working on their relationship are going to see um, improvements from what has already been worked on. Again, it says, I feel like there's going to be some travel or plans for travel this month and uh, long overdue, and it's good travel. It's because you choose to, not because you have to. It says, nobody's fool. Uh, Capricorn, you're nobody's fool, so don't be uh, pushed into doing something you don't want to do. It says, if you don't know what to do, just take a moment, put it to rest, and you'll be shown what to do. Something's already in the works for some of you regarding work or improvement at work. Don't give your power away. It says you're really a good worker and you could easily be taken advantage of. It says it's a good time to leave sadness from the past behind. I feel again there's victory for you this month in more areas than one. A lot of hard work you've put in. It's time to reap some of those benefits. And again, a reminder not to be talked into or out of something that you've been planning. Okay, it says that, you know, certainly you could respect someone's advice, but do what you feel is best for you. And it says it's nothing to argue about. It just says it's something you need to do. If you feel it's something you need to do, maybe today is the time to do it or start working on it. But it says you're going to get exactly what you deserve. The strength that you've shown throughout the year, this last year, you're going to really have some improvements in a lot of areas for yourself. So make yourself a priority, Capricorn, and let's see what happens. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss. Thank you so much for dropping in, and we'll see you again next month, Capricorn.